Hello, I'm Tsukat and welcome back to an episode of my Far Cry 5 Let's Play. This is the Let's Play where I've been playing through Far Cry 5, would you guess that? And today I climbed a mountain just before we started because I figured that'd be a little bit fun and because I wanted to show off before as we go onto our first outpost my two brand new weapons. I have a D2 which is mostly just like, oh, uh, I guess I don't need to suppress uh, secondary anymore so here's the shotgun that I just unlocked from Faith's region and then also I have myself the AS or the SA-50 it is a 50 cal semi-auto rifle and this is gonna be my new sniper rifle uh, because you know what, you need snipers in this game especially for doing cult outposts like we're doing today so there are four cult outposts left in the game as a whole they're all in Jacob's region which I conveniently need to clear anyway so I figured let's go through one by one let's do them and let's see if we can do these by stealth I know they progressively get harder or I imagine they get uh, progressively harder but let's see if we can do any of these purely by stealth and uh, feeling that I really want to guarantee that I do them without any you know alarm swing race because you know uh, my, my friend was uh, over for the last episode uh, a couple of days ago or yesterday and uh, basically because of that uh, you know maybe realized like you know you don't necessarily do it all the time perfectly but if I just take a little bit more caution then I should be able to because you know again like he just said like oh yeah well, I just reset it every time it goes wrong. And although I, I, I'd love to do that, I feel like, you know, for the purpose of the YouTube, let's just take a little bit more cautious on the first time we do things. So, uh, yeah, it's worth mentioning, by the way, there's wolves everywhere in this game. And propaganda, too, apparently. Yeah, it's worth mentioning that uh, in, in the north region, there's wolves everywhere, because uh, Jacob, see, the last guy, his tools, instead of being, like, guns and boats and stuff, he likes to use... Um, he prefers using wolves or something, like that he trains to be super evil. It's a, it's a really messed up thing, so yeah, just keep that in mind, because uh, it came up in like the first couple of missions they did uh, like off camera a while ago. So yeah, this is a, as you can see, there's two VIPs, and sorry, uh, uh, something like uh, finding it, <laughs> finding it really hard to talk, but there's two VIPs in this area already, and uh, you uh, that's and then there's a heavy and a sharpshooter, and then two normal dudes, so it's definitely harder than a normal region, and I'm really cautious about, oh, let's spot this guy. I'm really cautious about taking down the towers because someone will hear even the silenced weapon because not really silenced, just suppressed. So we have to be really, really careful about how we do these guard towers. And also, given that we only find eight people and they're all mostly together, how we take them out is going to be a real important thing. So I, I think the smartest move is probably take out this guy first because he's just guarding his own little area and uh, he should die of one hit from the uh, thing to the head. Again, should die. Will he though? Uh, let's find out. Cult VIP killed. None spotted anything. No, people did spot something. See, I, I'm always so confused when I take a guy out like that, and I'm sure no one can see. So next up, we take out this guy, I reckon. Oh no, they're, they're busy dealing with uh, an animal or something. Okay, they didn't spot me. Which means they're very conveniently also easy to take out. Oh gosh. Which should mean conveniently they're easy enough to take out like this. And it would count as undetected if it can do it, so. Let's keep trying our hardest to do that, I guess. Although he's he's gonna come around that corner and get me if I'm not careful about this. We just hop out from this side. Take out a barrel. Again, he's, oh, he's going the other way, okay, so. <laughs> because we're using a silent sniper, it really seems like we can just pick them off one by one at this crazy di distance. And it seems to be working just about. Oh, there's a guy in this turret too. He needs to go down as well. It'd be, it'd be really impressive if we did this whole thing. Okay, this is going to be a careful one. One more bullet and he's down, I reckon. So that's the heavy gun. And now there's the cult VIP over there. Who's actually coming towards me. He, he's suspicious on some level, it seems. So I have to be really careful and just no-scope the sniper around the corner. Or go for the headshot. Like that. Okay, he didn't see me. And that means there's one guy left in the corner. Oh! No, there's a bear coming too, or a wolf. So that probably has to be sniped too. This is this is going surprisingly well, actually. Oh, okay. So yeah, this is basically, I got a new sniper rifle because I have four slots. And I think this is where the game just goes into like easy peasy mode, right? Because I feel like <laughs> this this was done way too easily. Or maybe I'm just, uh, my, my strategy is like perfectly built for this one uh, place. It's hard to say which it is. But yeah, we did it. Liberated. Undetected. <laughs> as you can see, the silence effort method is surprisingly easy. So that means there is three more outposts left in the game. And as someone who loves, you know, completionism, like the idea of just having something entirely done. And let's be honest, the entire, like, reason the Far Cry series exists and it's free is just to, like, or even every Ubisoft game, it's all about feeding that completionist in you. And, uh, yeah, it feels good. I got a thousand dollars, can buy a new rifle camo or something, or a new shotgun camo, or whatever I actually want. And then, uh, oh, 
thank you. Yeah, I, I did good, I know. So, uh, before we go though, every time you take down an outpost, it's smart to like, take the map or whatever else. And uh, given that, you know, we're reaching that stage in the game where like, every little is gonna count, it might be important to know like, oh, there's fishing spots in the air. See, they, they do weird stuff to, uh, like wolves, and that's like his just that's that's just his thing that he does because he's a, he's a weird guy like that. So yeah, we need to go to the second outpost now. Uh, it probably isn't best to get there by boat, but it might be. You know, maybe we have to fly. Maybe we have to do something like that. Uh, because the next outpost is actually there's one over there, but we'll do that last. There's one over here, just to the north, and then there's one to the uh, the north as well, on top of the tower. I think we'll go for this one because it's a little bit of a fun journey, and you know, let's let's go for it. So we'll go to the visitor center, pick up a vehicle somewhere around here, or. Okay, we'll just, we'll just helicopter there. <laughs> you have to be really careful with helicopters, as I learned. But yeah, if we do these carefully enough, we'll do that. So, one undetected so far, pretty good. But again, whether that's easier or not, it's kind of hard to say. Because the game, I don't think the game scales too much in difficulty, but maybe the enemies get harder. But then if my gun is now able to take down every enemy in one hit, if not two. You know, it's, it's kind of a, a tricky balancing act. So, yeah, this is, uh, this is the internal base for this third region, by the way. Every region has its own little... Uh, kind of area where the, the, the resistance hangs out and this is this area one. It's, it's very inconspicuous when you think about it But yeah, we're here not for some quad bikes But instead to go buy me a helicopter because I I got the good helicopter In fact, I have the best of pretty much everything in the game There's only one thing that I can get better now and it's uh Jacob seeds rifle So after I take down Jacob presumably fairly soon uh, We'll be able to take his rifle and uh, or his sniper rifle and that's meant to be better in some way. I, I don't know what it is because it's it just says Jacob's rifle. But yeah, we're we're like approaching the end of like maxed out equipment. With there's a few more perks I can buy too. Like oh, more health would be nice. But yeah, we're we're doing doing pretty well at this stage in the game, and it feels good. We're you know we've had all these hours of like dicking around and just you know slowly getting stuff done. And as a result of the end of that, we're now at the stage where like oh, we can kind of do most things. So we want to go to the north, so exactly 180 degrees from here. And we want to fly up the mountain, because up the mountain there's both a, a tower I have to take down for some reason, which we could do well with there, but also an outpost, which is the more important thing. I kind of, I, again, I'm not going to do it, because I like the undetected thing, that's kind of what I, you know, that, that's probably one of the best bits about Far Cry, the, the stealth slash action blend. But one of the things that's so tempting is to try and do one of these outposts with a helicopter. Like maybe, because again, there's something called Outpost Master. I don't know anything about it, because I like to, I, I much prefer exploring games myself. I know a lot of people are into the whole, I'm gonna, you know, secretly, I'm gonna work out like the secret way to do this or a glitch I can use to beat this boss on YouTube or whatever. But personally, I'm just, I'm always about playing the game, oh gosh. Oh, it's fine, this is just a wolf that's by me. I'm all about playing the game as naturally as I can, um, because that's kind of how they were almost intended to be played. And then, you know, seeing other people's experiences, that, that natural thing, and kind of comparing the two of those things. Uh, okay, very, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, I'm dead. Speaking about playing naturally, this is when you realize that helicopters on cliffs, you gotta be really careful about them. I probably could have saved myself by using the wingsuit fast enough, but <laughs> instead we get another one of these beautiful loading screens uh, with Jacob Seed, who says, uh, cause his whole thing, um, so you know, we had first guy who was like, oh, I just really, I'm OCD clean. This guy, uh, you know, the second girl was like, oh, everyone should do drugs all the time and that makes you religious and that's okay. Uh, and it seems like this third guy, his whole thing is like, uh, the needs of the many have always meant more than the needs of the few. And for some reason he wants to reverse that, and that's a good thing. And that sounds like, you know, good rhetoric. Like, oh yeah, maybe the needs of the few should matter. Or yeah, I guess like, you know, at some point you do have to say that. Like, oh yeah, needs of the few, why not? But you know, again, then it turns into crazy, like, ah, and therefore we'll kill the many. And it's like, well that's, uh, that's not just not caring about the needs of the many, that's literally killing them. That's, that's just being against the needs of the many, you know, like. <laughs> Because there is the, the very interesting, I guess, thing in my opinion of like, you know, society as a whole puts the, the needs of most people first. But is that the correct thing to do? And the answer is like, sometimes like, not really. But I've always thought like, but we don't always put the needs of the many first, just in most cases. Like for instance, uh, if, a, if, a, if a terrorist uh, takes a, like 10 hostages and says we want $15 million per person, it's in the needs of the many not to spend $150 million, you know, public money on those hostages. It's, it's in the needs of the, the many people. But you'll never do it. The, oh, here we are. We can do that mission if we want to. You know, actually, it's, since it's... I can do this in the helicopter, the and it's like... It's already, you know, whatever. It's it's already on the thing, and since I, I failed last time I got up the helicopter, let's just do this. Let's take out the jammer. Because we've got... Again, we've got the helicopter. It makes it very easy to do stuff like this, doesn't it? And for some reason, it has a health bar. Which I find to be a little bit weird. 
Yeah, it looks like we're probably gonna have to go down there manually in some form. Because you can't just shoot this thing up. So, I can exit the vehicle and then try and grapple onto there. It seems a bit risky, so instead I'm gonna try and land this up here. Again, this is also very risky. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're golden. No! <laughs> You know, maybe I'll just grapple up the normal way. Or oh, I'll go, okay, this, I, know, I know we're just coming up with silly ways to do the exact same thing here. What if I go really high up, I parachute out, and then I grapple from the parachute, or land from the parachute on there? Because again, I just really don't want to climb this thing manually. Like, I feel like that's what we need to avoid at all costs here. I know I was just saying, like, we'll try and avoid repeating things, but for this, it's worth it. So we get out. Don't care how you do it, as long as it's shooting sparks. And then we parachute. As long as the helicopter doesn't kill me, we're good. And then we try and land on this. Again, landing a, uh, a parachute is especially hard in this game. Okay, I've missed it. I've missed it. It's over. It's over. <laughs> but hopefully if we do a full rotation... You know, the turning circle on this really sucks. I think we need to just have that be admitted. You know, we, we kind of just did less progress than if we'd gone up at the bottom. But we tried, and that's what counts. Because, again, sometimes the most fun things come from doing ridiculous attempts. And this time it didn't. But that's not what matters. But yeah, I, I always find it weird that people, like, always uh, spend so much time trying to work out, like, oh, yeah, how do you glitch the thing? And I think it's just one of those, um, I think what it really comes down to is uh, the actual definition of meme. Because people use meme to mean, like, funny word on the internet. But it really means, like, you know, like a psychological characteristic that people share and that, you know, become widespread. Like, oh, it's a meme that, you know, uh, we've w worked out how to care for babies or for this or for that. And, um... Also, uh, what I really think is uh, weird is that, like, it, as soon as one person finds something weird... Also... Oh, that was all it was. It was a piece of yellow. Ah. Oh, and there's another tower she wants me to go to. Oh. That's... I mean... You know, I'll deal with this first. I'll get back to your mission. I thought that was, like, a one-time, like... Because climbing that tower is such a real... Real task on its own. So let's try not to be spotted. We're going to go to the base camp. Because this looks like one of the biggest uh, things in the game. We're just going to sneak in like this. Again, because there's like a base camp, then there's a main tower. And then the main thing I, I'm i sure has three separate alarm posts. So this is going to be one of the big cult outposts in the game. No time to focus on wingsuiting down to other towers. As fun as that does sound. And again, like, the way he focuses on the needs of the few is... A little, little bit weird and creepy. Just a little bit. Yeah, as a society, I feel like it's weird that the needs of the many is like a controversial thing, but it really, I, I, I try to think about why that can be, you know, wrong in some situations and then we all agree it is. And it's just because like humans can't stick to any one principle. The reason there are so many sayings is because every saying hits someone in some place that feels right. Also, I guess we'll sneak around with a silence this for now. Because again, taking a, just in case I like happen to stumble into someone, Actually, no, I'll take him down short, short range if I do that. I'll use the sniper for the purpose of this. So, check this door doesn't open. Oh, there's a key required. So there's like little secret safe things going on. But yeah, we're mostly here. Oh, gosh. Trying to spot every single person. No one up there, it looks like. Around here, perhaps. Peek out from the bushes. So yeah, this actually looks like it's one of the easiest ones in the game. Like, it's the most intimidating to get to, but there's just one tower. We could probably take it out pretty darn fast if we really wanted to. Because there's two people down there, one person up here. These two people just broke away from each other. Which makes them especially easy to take down. He's doing star jumps. <laughs> Why is he doing star jumps? So we're going to sneak in here. We're throwing knives out. And I guess we're going to climb this thing from the inside. There's three people, so it really should just be like, gun them down. But I really don't want to raise the alarm just because it turns out that that's just the uh, tip of the iceberg or whatever. Pray we're not spotted. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. It's, it's over. So we need to take down that alarm post right now. Okay, it's already been cool. Oh, it, it is massive. It, it. I wish I'd realized. It seemed like the game was... Okay, I'm just gonna like, kill myself. Just actually not... I guess we should try and... No, I'm, I'm not willing to do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that wasn't even enough to get me. Okay, so we're just gonna 
throw it for one of these because it, it takes longer to like just just do it. There we go. It takes longer to deal with it that way. Um, because like this is like the mega outpost in the game. I feel like if we don't do this one by stealth, or at least try, or at least do no alarms, then what are we really doing? Because I have to imagine the alarm school helicopters too, and you know how how I am with helicopters. It's just not worth it. So we're, we're doing four undetected outposts. That's how today's going. And because you know it's it's all the ones in a region too. There's something extra special about that, if you ask me. Now we know the actual depth of it. There's like extra buildings behind there. Oh, we spotted more guys this time. Now we know the depth of this place and the the reality behind how it goes. We can do something about that. Oh, there's a there's the second tower. That's probably part of the uh, the quest that was just on. Not an important part for now, but nice to know about, I guess. And uh, oh yeah, we want to really make sure we have these frog knives out because you never know when it's going to become an essential part of what we're doing. Oh, there's lots of these towers. Of Oh, and there's a there's a clutch Nixon in the base too. That's how you know it's important. So yeah, taking down these towers, I reckon easiest way is to snipe them. But if there's anyone watching, like from here, can we take that down safely? Not while there's a sharpshooter there. And if we shoot if we shoot the box and it spots someone or it alerts someone, then we've wasted our like one shot. Yep, non spoiled that. It's good. I think it's scared of wolf. Yeah, everyone's a little bit scared right now, at least. Oh god, there's a guy coming right over here. Okay, he's dead. Oh, okay, when we're spoiled. And there's still one more alarm left. No, I'm getting one alarm, you dog. Where, where, there it is. That's all alarms cleared. Now we should have to get out there and make it down through the spine. So there's only so many enemies around here. It's a super dramatic outpost, but since it only has two alarms and there's a lot of hiding places, it should be easy enough to actually deal with. So yeah, these these red dogs with the crosses on their face. Apparently they're like Jesus' dogs or something. I, again, I I don't know the actual uh, explanation behind why dogs are religious for some reason today. Oh, we actually got away from everyone for a second. But uh, yeah, the, the music on this one's definitely the most dramatic. Of them. Like maybe maybe it's not actually meant to be the last one in any way. There we go. That's an enemy down. There's a couple of people up there that'll probably pop up. Oh no, he's got a mortar. That's what he's doing. So that means we have to do that. okay. This guy. We have to just kind of hop in this place. Let me in. And then we'll take him out without him realizing. Cause he doesn't know I'm inside. No one else knows I'm inside. And he's busy doing his mortar. So he's not gonna be able to get me for a few seconds. So where you at, pal? Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> so yeah, I, I'm see, I think there's something satisfying about doing the clearings once you've removed the alarms at least. It's not quite the stealth takedown, but we get 400, like basically half of what we always get, and that's a fair, fair trade if you ask me. And now we'll just hop down, grab the map, because there's like one guy left, but it's not me. Because now that tells me about the region. I, I know where some stuff is. Apparently, next to nothing. And then, oh there we go, you're dead too. And there's probably just one more dude, and then it's ours. So, yeah, this isn't really a cult outpost in the traditional sense, it's more like, again, like a mountain station that I happen to have taken down. Uh, oh, there's, there's a lost guy. Easy! But yeah, I got it done regardless, that's two out of four. No alarms, it's not quite as good as uh, undetected. But that one was such a mess because the internal, external, like, I got trapped in a corner. I can see why that went the way it did. And again, I, I really want to try not to restart as many times as I can, because I'm sure it's easy enough to do them undetected. And if Outpost Mastery is all about undetected runs, then that'll be fun too. But for now, we did it. That's what counts. And we got a new helicopter, the Sky Scarab. That sounds cool. See, this this guy thinks the weaker the guys that everyone hits. He, he's just anti-everything. That's just his, his set of opinions is like, I hate things. <laughs> it's like, that's not a very productive way of thinking about the world. And I'm just going to do this because I don't want to listen to this guy. Because this is way more fun. It's got eagles, it's got explosions. American Patriot. Susan. So yeah, this is uh, Quadzilla. I'm going to light myself on fire. <laughs> yeah, all the, the two things going at once. So I was hoping it would make him stop, but I've just... I've caused the real crisis for the game. 
Oh, so we have to do a quad race down a mountain. Oh, and I failed at the first. <laughs> no problem. And it's all about speed and not dying, I guess. This is a pretty cool one, actually. This isn't something I would have considered by myself. But I love this sort of challenge, because in real life, I always see people doing silly challenges like, um... You know, when the people go on, like, mountains... Oh, gosh. 360. Perfect. I intended to do that battle wrong. Because I'm just... Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I'm just... That, that 360 was intentional, too. So was this one. This one wasn't. Okay. So the crazy thing about this is I still might not have lost this. Okay, no, I, I have lost this. This is the first plush mission I failed, just because going sideways, I guess. No, out of time. Oh, gosh. Mission failed. So it's going to restart me. Okay, so this time you just have to learn, like, let's chill on the speed. It looks like you want to hold down the trigger the whole time. But, like, in real life, like, you see people, like, doing mountain biking on the side of, like, these huge cliffs, and you're like, if they make one mistake, they die. And I guess for some people, that's what they like, you know, like, I can't make mistakes. No mistakes possible. You have to put 100% of your focus on it. Because dying isn't really an option most of the time in real life. Uh, for most people, I mean, I'm not going to judge everyone. Some people, I'm sure, are perfectly willing to die if it means they can do something cool. But most people are like, mm, would prefer that they don't die and just, uh, the potential of death. Oh, see, like, doing these turns. It's all about being careful and looking down correctly. So we go through the middle of this. See, there's some, I guess there's something to be said about, um, you know, like restraint and slow speed and stuff. I like games that teach you that, because in this, um, in Far Cry, the top speed of cars you hit like five seconds after you pull down the trigger. Whereas in this, it's actually teaching you, like, wow, well, sometimes you shouldn't use the top speed, even though it's really easy to. And, it's, it doesn't feel satisfying now. Now you know that you might just die if you don't. And dying is worse than living. I mean, in video games, dying isn't totally option. That's why I've died, like, twice to helicopter accidents already. <laughs> but, uh, you know what? Again, I, I guess that's the interesting thing. Like, some people treat their life like it's a video game. But if I did that, I would have died, like, in episode, like, two or something. Yeah, see that? Easy. Tiny bit of restraint goes a long way. If I, if I didn't fail on like a jump, I still would have made that, even with like 10 seconds of delay. It's just because I got myself physically trapped out of the course. Fun fact, now we know. Watch out if you do this Clutch Nixon. But yeah, we're not here to do a Clutch Nixon, we're here to do the third of these little things. This was just a fun little side distraction, I guess. Quadzilla. It's a cool name for a thing. Got some money, somehow helped the region be liberated. And now we're going to the next outpost, which is here. So we might be able to wingsuit to this. But it looks a little bit too far away. But we'll give it a shot regardless, because that sounds fun. Oh no, he's just going to give me the same speech again. I was hoping I'd avoided it. <laughs> I'll go for a lot of effort to avoid. Because they're all crazy protagonists, right? Like, I think I think the people working on the game wanted them to be, like, believable. And then someone's like, but that's my belief. Let's make him, let's make him more ridiculous so that my belief isn't hurt. I really do believe in the needs of the few, and that people should take drugs, man. And that, you know. Because even making a game like, because I think this is made uh, by Ubisoft Montreal, so like French Canada. So that's the only reason they can make fun of America, like, I guess, a normal American game studio. Probably wouldn't be too down with that, if I'm being uh, predictive at least. I think there's cars on the road, so I'm gonna just go off the side here, where they can't really hurt me. And let's do this, okay, liberation time. Let's do it. I think we'll go on the sniper again. This is just our go-to smart move. Honestly, we can just snipe them from the hills here. They'll never spot me if I hide behind a tree. And we've, we've clearly proven that's the fastest way. Or the most effective way. Something like that. Because this guy just isn't... No one can see it, you know. Oh, this is a one tower. Oh, it's two towers. So as soon as he starts walking back, I'll just take him out. The sniper seems... Actually, we could grapple down onto him. No, no, no. Take him out at close range. His gun fell off, which isn't good. Put it down over there. People are doing some shooting practices over there. Oh, guy doing jumping jacks. So I think 1-2 would be perfect here. 
But again, it's super risky. So we're gonna look around the rest of this place. I don't know why he's black rather than anything else. So his wolf is alert now. Self an explosion there though. Oh no, they they spotted me. They said enemy has the high ground. So there's now there's an alarm there. One more alarm. Just in case we are spotted, like that. And then there's an alarm we just have to take down for anything else. Nope, you're not getting there first. You're not getting here first, pal. So one guy spotted me, which means I don't get the bonus. But if no one else does, I can feel the moral high ground at least. Oh, hey there, buddy. This, yeah, again, having a semi-automatic 50 cal is, I think... I guess that's the reason they locked it behind, like, seven layers or something. Like, you have to complete two of the regions. And then there's just like, oh god! <laughs> what just happened with that guy? Oh, how about this, pal? Easy no-scope. Let's try and no-scope this guy, too. Oh, no scope. Okay. Again, it's sometimes it's just faster. If, if you mess up, just take out the alarms. Or take out the alarms first so that you can mess up. And then good things happen. Look at this. American flag jeeps coming down. That's what I'm talking about. So the final uh, outpost we're doing, I kind of saved this one for last because it's got a bear. It's going to give me a bear as a reward, which is exciting if you ask me. So we just take down a bunch of enemies and then a bear comes and follows me as a, as a result of that. Again, I'm not sure. There's clearly a step missing there in the the logical train of thought. But today we're not here to talk about logic. Also just going to talk about this guy. And we're going to head a little bit to the... It's not even that far, but I think we probably want to take a... Uh... Yeah, I guess we'll go to like uh, the the gas station down here, grab a truck, car, and go there. Or we could just go from here. Go for a walk. Walks are nice. Hey, who doesn't like a good walk? I'm sounding like a, a wolf or something here, but... <laughs> I. I, I really do think in real life, like, a lot of the time people take, like, their just usual means of transport, like, ah, oh, if you're, if you're someone who lives in a big country where you drive everywhere, you drive, like, ridiculous distances that you totally could walk, because, like, ah, uh, why not, right? Oh, this is where I was when I, uh, like, at the end of the last episode, but, um, and it's the same with, like, oh, yeah, if you're in a city and you have a public transport card, you'll just use it as many times as you can, like, ah, oh, go one stop or whatever, but I think, I think... Oh, gosh, we gotta kill this deer, I guess. Is it a proc horn? I think that's what a proc horn is. Again, I, I just, I need it for the challenges. Nothing personal, deer. Oh, no, that's a deer. Never mind. Again, I, I you know, I'll, I'll look up proc horn right now. I'm gonna work out what that actually is. Proc horn band. There's a band called proc horn. And it's a species of aerodactyl mammals. Okay, so it is distinct from a deer. It just kind of looks like one. And we've decided that it is. Although species, you know, how do you de determine like a species from like just a weird variant of one? Like all the dog breeds we have, they're like a poodle and a Great Dane or whatever. Same animal, but like, really? And the answer is I guess so. Um, but yeah, uh, it's like I learned recently that bonsai trees aren't just like, you th I thought they were just the type of tree, like oh, a breed of tree you get, you know, maple trees and oak trees and bonsai trees. But bonsai is actually an art form in just breeding trees selectively, so you get them really tiny. So you can get any tree as a bonsai tree. And that's like, ah. So all these... Most people consider all these trees to be the same. But they're actually not. And I feel like that's, just, that's probably how a lot of things do work. Needs of the many over the needs of the few or whatever, yeah? Or the thoughts of the many over the thoughts of the few. I don't know. Yeah, so this is going to be a hard one, I reckon. Because, you know, there's a bear as a reward. A bear is no laughing matter. I want to throw a knife him, but I don't want to give away the game. This early. Well, that was sad. He didn't even spot it though, that's fine. Uh, again, we're just, we're just doing the sniper route, which is the easiest one at this point. Oh, I missed him. I missed him. Okay, we got him just before that. When that bar's going on you, at, you know, like, in a few seconds, someone's gonna spot you. Things get scary. Enemy reinforcements, no one spotted me. Oh, they, they'll call reinforcements even if they don't see you. Sometimes. Oh, I don't, I don't wanna do a no, like, to end the day, you know, we started with a all clear one and then we're gonna end with this. And I guess that's just how it's gonna be. 
Oh, I'm gonna die. But a do a wolf? Oh, man was beating me up as well as the wolf. I, again, I'm glad about that because that means I get to restart. I didn't, I didn't want to do it myself because I'd feel like that's kind of cheesy. But if I just accidentally get killed while climbing up a ladder, that's happy. Like, did you think you were free? So he, he can just magically kidnap me as well. Like every now and then, he's gonna magically make me vanish into his van, and then we're gonna learn some more about the story. Because that's that's logically what you do, you know. He wants me dead, and he can kidnap me. And like friend me and stuff, but he doesn't actually. Oh, I think we'll learn in the late game actually. I hope that it is discussed there. Like, oh, Jacob told them they can't kill me because he wants to do something, you know. I hope that is actually addressed in some form. I'd be pretty depressed if it wasn't. So we need to do. Uh, again, I want to throw in like this guy, but clearly people can hear him or something. Oh, so they immediately can tell when he's dead. Is he reporting in every few seconds or something? Something suspicious is going on there. Oh, someone sees me. Oh, it's okay. Nope. Alarm shot down. No! Okay, both alarms disabled. No alarms called. Uh, wolf. No, thank you. This guy, no thank you. Guy in the distance. Oh, there's a cult VIP there. I think, I think at some point there just seems to be an inconsistency. Oh gosh. No scope. No scope. No scope. <laughs> I didn't have any medkits, sadly. Or that would have gone pretty darn well. So yeah, I could tr two, two cult VIPs and a heavy and two wolves is about what it takes to take me down at this stage. When I have that sniper rifle. And even then, like, if, if I had hit more of those bullets, which I probably shouldn't be no scoping, I would have still managed to take down all five of them in a row. Which is pretty impressive to say, right? I mean, it's got to count for something. So yeah, this time we'll just go and disable the alarms, do it the normal way, and then we'll have completed every count R plus in the game. Oh gosh, that was stupid. Although he's probably the easiest guy to take out, so we'll do it now. The wolf howled just as I did that. Which makes it suspicious that maybe they can, like, smell blood or something. So he... So taking out these alarms before doing anything else is going to be especially tricky. But if we just go through the back... That's a VIP and a wolf. Oh no, they saw me! What? Where, where did they... No, no they don't. Oh, they, I, I can't take down the alarms from here. This is, this is, this is crazy. This is stupid. I, I don't like this at all. I, I want to redo this, so I guess we'll just do it split ourselves. Because that, I feel, I feel genuinely cheated by that. Also, it, that didn't even hurt me. Oh, it's bliss, that's why. This will hurt me. There we go. So let's just, let's just do this properly. Also, look at that pose. That is a pretty nice death pose. I should already buy some new clothes that, that's still there from the start of the game. Um, but no, I, I feel genuinely cheated by that second run. And I, I'm not even sure, like, what it was. It was just, like, someone's randomly spotting me now. But, easy enough. We'll, want, we'll run it again. There's a guy just up there who we're gonna miss if we're not careful. We're gonna very distinctly go for him early. Oh, I missed. But he doesn't care. So he's got his own little hidey hole. So it's almost impossible for him to be seen. I'll punch him around a little bit though. Wait, where did he go? I think I just threw the body. Oh no! It went into... The body went all the way over there. Someone's going to see that. Someone is 100% going to see that. They spot... See, they found the body, which I didn't throw up. Oh, gosh. So I think we're just going to have to explode the alarms if we're being brutally honest. 
Okay, just run in. Shoot it. No, you don't. No! Okay, I got it. I got it. I got the alarms. Now I just have to not die. I got a shotgun, which makes that a little bit easier. Thank you, anyone who's just in the way. Like a dog. And now we're just going to do this the old-fashioned way. Again, I... <laughs> that... I feel like every single time... This is this is me just being, I guess, whiny. Like, oh, it screwed me. I didn't whine. In that way. But that, that, that body throw, like... It vanished and then reappeared on the other side of the wall. And it's like that... The, the, the body gets put on the ground, not like that far away from it. Okay, we got Cheeseburger the Bear. A little history there. Because after we do this, we get Cheeseburgers. We we get quite some rewards for this mission. Like we're gonna beat every single one of the things. Also, that's the one hit kill. It's a pretty powerful little <laughs> thing, as it turns out. Oh, and I get a Cougar's Baseball card, because I guess there's another collectible I have to go around and do. It'd be fun one day after, uh, like, after we beat all the missions, like to go to all the collectibles. Because collectibles are always a fun thing in games. I think. Sometimes. I mean, when the game tells you where they are, they're, they're fun. When you have to search them yourself, it's more like, well, this is... Uh, this is the thing we've got to question. It's the whole what do we do now question of, like... As soon as you're done with something, you just have to kind of move on to something else, and then you're like, ah. Oh. But once you've done with something else, what do you do? And the simple answer is like, ah, I guess I don't know. You are meat. <laughs> well, that's pretty gross. Ah, oh, they're going to clean it off. That's nice. They're so happy about it, like, yeah, let's clean this dead body up. That's like, I mean, we probably should worry about that a bit more. So now I've unlocked Col uh, uh, that outpost master. Nice one, Deb. There is a bear Don't around here for me. Oh, baseball card. Be happy to get those grounds back. Might be worth asking around to see where that bear cheeseburger ran off to. Heard he's out there tearing up coal. Oh, so I don't actually unlock him right now. I just unlock the ability to him. So, before we go, I just want to work out, like, Outpost Master. I can reset them all to their hostile state, and I can't do it until I complete all campaign missions. Okay, and there's going to be some... Uh, it's just for me if I want to redo them every time. It made it sound like they'd go on, like, hard difficulty, but... Maybe it will. Maybe we'll see afterwards. Anyway, you have a mission about cheeseburger for me. So, join me in tomorrow. When we'll be going to find cheeseburger. Thank you very much for watching part 24 of the Far Cry 5 Let's Play. And I'll see you all next time when we get cheeseburger. Look at it. Look at the merchandise. Had a soft spot for Chad's barbecue, but he got the diabetes, so we put him on a liquid salmon diet. Anywho, Colt tried to take him, so I set him free. Last I heard, he was causing all sorts of mayhem. Someone should go find him. Make sure he's all right. Grab some salmon from the pond ahead of time, though. Then feed Cheeseburger that salmon, and he'll be eaten out of the palm of your hand. Easy. See you next week. Goodbye.